Welcome back to NCTV. I'm Colin Craner, your winemaker and host. Today what we're gonna do is a little keg sanitation. Later this week we're gonna get into some filtration, getting wines bottle ready, show you the process of that. And then later on we're gonna bottle our wines and fill up these bad boys. Looking forward to showing you what's going on here in the cellar. One of the most important aspects to the winemaking process is getting wines bottle ready. This includes the acts of blending, fining, filtering, and adjusting the wines to the specifications you're looking for. This is truly an art, as not every winemaker is looking for the same flavor in their wines. Some wines are unfiltered, unfined, while others are filtered to the point of sterility. Watch as we go behind the scenes of our most recent bottling. Once the wines have been blended, acids, and SO2 adjusted, we begin the filtration process. In this case, we went with the lenticular filtration unit. The lenticular filtration setup is advantageous over standard plate and frame filtration for two main reasons. The system is completely closed, so there is no chance of any unforeseen oxidation. And wines filtered with this method seem to maintain flavors and body better than wines filtered through other means. As the wine is pumped into the unit, it fills the chamber through the outside of the cartridges. When the wine reaches the top, the blow-off valve is closed and wine begins being pushed through the cartridges and out of the unit into the next tank. Depending on the wine, multiple passes through progressively smaller cartridges may be necessary. After filtration, the wines are analyzed and tasted to ensure the final product has not been compromised. We work with Bay Area Bottling, a reputable mobile bottling service to get our wines in the bottle. The reason we work exclusively with this company is their attention to detail, especially when it comes to sanitation. The bottling process can be very stressful on our end, so knowing we have a partner working with us who takes this as seriously as we do is very reassuring. Once on the line, the bottles are rolled upside down and sparged with nitrogen. This ensures that no oxygen is in the bottle while we are filling and removes any debris that may be in the bottles. After sparging, the bottles are spilled with wine on a rotating filling device. Next, the wines are vacuum corked and sent to the foiler. Finally, the wine label is applied. Down at the other end of the line, workers pack boxes with newly bottled wines. These cases are stacked, palletized, and put away in inventory. We also offer wines on tap, which are out of the keg. While this process is a little different, one thing remains. As with all winemaking practices, sanitation is the most important aspect in this process. To begin, the kegs must go through a six-step sanitation process before being filled. The kegs are rinsed with 180 degree water for five minutes. Next, the kegs are pumped with meta-citric solution for three minutes each. After, the kegs are rinsed again with 180 degree water. Finally, a cold water rinse and then we sparge with argon. All fittings are sprayed down with vodka before being connected. Every fourth fill, we remove the spirits and visually inspect the inside of each keg. To this day, we have yet to have any issue with kegs going out with any sanitation defects. Once the sanitation process is completed, we can begin filling. The wines must be ready as if they were going into a standard bottle. The wine is gently pumped in the keg until it is completely full. Wines on Tap is a large part of our business and we hope to continue to grow it. Currently, we offer three wines on tap, Cabernet Sauvignon, Chardonnay, and Alpha Red. These products are consistent with our award-winning portfolio of bottled wines. Thanks again for joining us on NCTV. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, it means a lot to us. Also, follow us on Facebook, hit us up on Twitter, we're everywhere. See you next time.